In this video I'm going to install Ubuntu 16.04 Alpha on an external hard drive using actual hardware. My focus is on the Ubiquiti installer which is used by Ubuntu in most of its derivatives. I used a USB stick as the installation medium but Ubuntu works with either that or a DVD. See my general video for using Linux on external drives for more information. When the live system loads, you'll have a choice to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. I'm going to try it first. I'm going to connect to my wireless network. Enter the encryption code and connect. Now I'm going to click on Install Ubuntu. The installation language will be English. Continue. The computer has enough drive space. It's connected to a power source. It's connected to the Internet. Now I'm going to download updates while installing and install this third-party software then click on continue. Now what you see on top will depend on what you have on your internal drive. I have Windows 10 and Ubuntu 15.10 Mate on it. I don't want to change either of those so I'm going to click on something else and then continue. This is a partition editor uh, my internal drive is device SDA. It has two Windows partitions, a uh, Linux swap partition, and a uh, Linux root partition formatted EXT4. It also has a spurious partition, SDA6, that's just sort of appeared over the years. I'm going to leave it untouched. Uh, Device SDB is the USB stick from which I'm installing the system. And device SDC is the external drive that I want to install it on. I'm going to make that the device for the bootloader location. Now I'm going to click on free space under SDC and then on the plus sign to create a new partition. I want to make it a swap area and I'm going to give it about six gigabytes. You'll find that these numbers are approximate. Click on OK now I'm going to go back to free space and click on the plus sign again for another new partition. I'm going to make sure that's a primary partition and it's an ext4 journaling file system. Uh, I'm going to give it the entire remaining space on the drive just for simplicity and mount it at the forward slash which is the root directory the entry point of the system. Okay. Now there's one more thing. You'll notice that on my internal drive there's a Linux swap partition. I don't want the external system to use this and I've learned from experience and if I just leave that as it is, the external system is going to try to link to it. So I'm going to click on Change and then on Do Not Use This Partition. This won't make any change on the internal drive. It will just make sure that the external system will not use it. Now I'm going to click on Install Now. This is a summary of what I've done. If you notice, there are no changes to my internal drive, 
All the changes are to device SDC. It has a new swap partition and it has a new partition formatted as EXT4. That's just what I want, so I'm going to click on Continue. The system has recognized my time zone because I'm connected to the Internet, and it's detected my keyboard layout, English US. I'm going to continue. I'm going to enter a name. It doesn't have to be my real name. This is a fictitious name. And the system has generated a computer name and a username, which is lowercase. I can change the username, but it must remain lowercase. As far as the computer name is concerned, I don't care what it is, because I'm not connected to a network with other computers. But if I were, I would want to make sure that was a name that the other computers recognized and it was consistent throughout the network. Now I'm going to enter a password and confirm the password. Require my password to log in is already checked, so I'm going to leave that. And I'm not going to encrypt my home folder. Continue. At this point, the system is installing, and it's going to take about 15 minutes, so I'm going to interrupt the video and resume near the end. Now installation is complete. I have a choice to continue testing or to restart now. You could restart now and the system would shut down. I'm going to continue testing. When I do want to shut down, I can do it by the normal method by clicking on the symbol at the upper right, getting the drop down menu, and I can either restart or shut down. I'm going to shut down and I have an opportunity to either restart or shut down again, so I'm going to shut down. As the system shuts down, Ubuntu will remind you to remove the installation media and press enter. Before you restart, make sure that your BIOS is set to boot first from the external drive. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.